well here's a good one for you good morning everybody Ron Wasik Polish Pickle here I got a good one picking up the grandson it's, uh, five minutes to eight on a Saturday morning Labor Day weekend well after looking at all my videos I found out that I have completed section five of the app trail and I've started on app six if you've uh, checked my last video the short one uh, that's exactly what I said and it's time to go do one little section where it's a dead section there's nothing on it very short it's only about two miles and uh, Dusty and I have already walked four miles out at out at Blue Marsh so this walk out and walk back will actually be nothing so we're gonna go do that today we're gonna take care of this little section six area that's uh, really a dead area and I'm going to pick him up now it's a Saturday morning like I said it's just of eight we're gonna go get some breakfast and we're gonna shoot straight up to <clears throat> excuse me to route 501 walk over to route 645 for those of you that have a map or a book um, went to watch a walk in the woods with Nick Nolley and Robert Redford can't say I was real pleased with it they could have done so much more but then again like a lot of the people came back on Facebook and said they're kind of glad it happened that way because we don't want to have little souvenir stores at every road along the trail uh, it's it's not a it's not a weekend hike type thing this is this is the Appalachian Trail this is our secret we want to keep it that way it's rough it's tough it's not for weekend hikers so I'm kind of glad it was that way the theater we went to had plush leather electric seats push a button and brought your knees up leaned back like a lounge chair it was leatherette it was beautiful but the movie left a lot to be desired uh, it was it like the one person said that should have been called grumpy old men camping or hiking or grumpy old men three yeah that's really what it was a lot of laughs I've heard the book by Bill Bryson is so much better even though now I've seen the movie, I'm not so sure I want to watch or read, it, read his book now. But I am reading a book called AWOL. It is a through hiker. Started in Georgia. All the trials and tribulations that he went through. Got a car in front of me that's all over the road. So let me turn this thing off and keep an eye on him until I get the grandson. All right, I'll be back. Bye. All right, well, we parked the truck in the parking lot, Route 501, met a couple other hikers, section hikers, and almost couldn't find this. Thank goodness Dusty was there and saw the marker, but uh, got everything set up, got my GPS going. It's uh, no sun today, so keeping an eye on the trail, going to enjoy it. Uh, behind me, of course. Trying to get him. There he is. There's Dusty. So enjoy, folks. Don't know how long it's going to be, but we're going to enjoy the walk. I'll be back. Here's what makes walking on the Appalachian Trail so neat. Look between the trees up there. Nice and gray. We are up on top of this hill. And, of course, we're walking down. The only thing I'm thinking about is when we come back, we're going to have to be walking uphill to get to the truck. But then the truck is sitting there waiting for us, so that's, that's okay. I have no problem with that. But there's the landslide. The landslide. Hey, I'm all right. I'm awake, too. There's the countryside below us. You can see for miles. It's beautiful. A little on the foggy side and I'm watching where I'm walking because good old Rocksylvania ahead of us here 
heading downhill, this could be real ugly. They do have their steps put in, prevent the water from washing out the trail. But if you look up ahead, there's your white mark again, the app trail. All right, continuing on. Boy, you aren't kidding, beautiful. You aren't joking. Man, there's one panorama shot. And as you can see, we're standing on that rock ledge. It goes down forever. And of course, this is the area where you gotta be careful of rattlers and snakes. They could be anywhere. We're not even on the top of the mountain. We're already down the side a little bit. But uh, man, talk about beautiful. This is, this is the epitome of beautiful right here. We had stopped at the Kimmel lookout, walked a little bit, got huffing and puffing. We're discussing huffing and puffing on the trail. I've read a couple books about it's normal, even for through hikers. When you first get going till your body gets used to what you're doing. But uh, on the Google Earth map, this fire break that we're on right here is visible but yes we are at that second area fishers look at i think it said because right there's the road behind us but you don't get much prettier than that right there i believe we're going down to fisher lookout i'm not positive be careful about snakes they might not be out now but still got to be careful Go ahead and get on that big rock for me, Dusty, while I'm taping. Then I'll take a picture of it. Just be careful. Down there. When you're either down there or when you're walking down the hill even. Good old adventurous us, huh? Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. Mm. Wasn't a bad climb down, but it is going to be easier climbing up, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you're right, I agree. That would have been a little shaky, but... All right, here we are in a selfie stick. That's a first. I got it working. Yeah, I'm on the rock. Way down behind me, it goes forever. So yeah, you gotta be careful. But, uh, oh, this is so great. There's a nice breeze coming up off the hill here. And uh, I can still hear Route 501, which is back that way. And we should be getting away from 501, hitting the 645 here, and not be able to hear those cars anymore. So, still walking, still enjoying. And here's the whole shot. I gotta be careful, I'm on this rock. There's the hill behind me. Gotta go up that hill. Dusty, do me a favor, take a picture of me with this selfie thing on. All right. Yeah. Got him. Okay. Okay, at my age, I'm starting starting to forget the use of some words, like the word nemesis. I believe you can say these rocks are my nemesis up here. As you can see, there's two white marks. There's one right there, and there's one on that tree way down there. Um, possibly that tree. Anyways, it's a single tree down there, but look between here and there. Look at this. Rocky, rocky, Rock Sylvania. Well, Dusty said it, so I'm gonna do it. He said you can't see anything, but the breeze is so nice. Oh yes, you are so right. Oh, does that feel good. We are walking right on the edge of the mountain. You come out to these little rock, rock overlooks and we're looking virtually straight down. I would not want to try to climb that. 
way out there in between the trees, you can see them. There it is. Okay, we made it about halfway. Come up upon the Fisher Overlook. So I called it wrong before. And as you can read, commemorating Bob Fisher, 50 years of service. Blue Mountain Eagle Climbing Club. Way to go, Bob. As you can see, the trail, Hap Trail, goes down this way. There's your white mark. A lot of nice breeze blowing here. We have a trail going up to the left where Dusty's going. And I'm going to go off to the right up here. Oh, a little campground right there. There's two campgrounds. It looks like a couple spots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right there's a nice little campground. Rock set up. Fire ring. Nice little area. Dusty checking that out. I'm going to go check this one out. Man, they really piled them up here. Another sign. See if I can get a reading on the sign. Okay, I have to get up there closer to read it. The eyes aren't working. Either that or I'll get Dusty to read it to me. Dusty, come up and read this sign. More of the lookout. Beautiful area. Trying to figure out what road that is out there. I bought black, green, and tan. Need another one. What do you think, Dusty? Put a tan on the back of the tree where it's going to be? Yeah, that way they don't see it right away when they're walking in. Need another tan one. Okay. There it is. I got so many stupid. I said eye level for me. All right, what do you think? Look good? Yeah. It's our cache. It's there. It's right on the mark. 
600 by 800. It's hidden. Come over here now. Okay, now the cache, as you can see, is eye level. The path is about 20 yards, 30 yards that way. And that's where it's gonna stay. Um, Dusty and I did it. I mean, he's gonna get my picture with it and I'm gonna get his picture with it. I might just put this on, you gotta turn off the red dot. That's a race, that one. Come on. Well, we've been walking downhill now for a good 15, 20 minutes. Ever, ever since we left, um, what was it, Fisher's Lookout? Yeah. And I stopped to use the facilities. Um, one of them facilities up there I used. <laughs> Anyways, while standing there, listen. Cars. We are very, very close to Route 645. So we've made it, and I have 2.1 miles. So again, I was pretty much right on the mark of how far it is from 501 to 645. Half the trail, look at that bug flying around in front of my lens. Half the trail is rocky. The other half the trail looks just like this. Smooth, oh, car just went by. You'll see where we're at. Smooth. Very little rocks. I've stubbed my right foot eight times, stubbed the left foot seven times. So, we're going to come up here to where the cars are. I'm going to drink some of this smart water and see if we don't feel any different. But it uh, looks like there's a parking lot right across the street here. That's where we're heading. I'll take a picture of this sign before I shut you off. There it is, Appalachian Trail, Maine to Georgia. All right, let's go over in the parking lot and cool down. There's part of a parking lot on this side. No cars. Path, Appalachian Trail continues through there. We'll be taking that eventually, Dusty. Mm -hmm. Time to take a break, relax. If that truck wasn't turned that way, I'd use his tailgate, but well, time for us to stop and go back. Take a picture of this. 2.18 miles. No dumping. So, we're here. Oh, Dusty found something. Shuttle service for the UT Trail. Really? Little business card. Hey, how about that? Lance and Joyce Carlin. There you go. How about that? Down to a hotel or maybe down to food. But, all right. Nice tall antenna. Time to take a break. Drink some water. All right. single axle like mine. All right, here we go. Back on the trail. What's that song by Willie Nelson? On the road again? On the road again. You're going to burn your brakes up if you don't put it in gear. Anyways, I stopped here just to show you the distance we are up on this mountain. It's beautiful. And here's our sign again. This time we're heading north.
And here we go. There's your rules and regulations. Travel only on foot, carry out all your litter. You're not allowed to cut trees, no motorized. Uh, horse and pack is unauthorized. Mountain bikes, no. Camping and campfires except in designated areas and firearms. So there's your rules and regulations. Okay, we stopped here because we're in the middle of a blackbird migration coming up over the mountain from our right to our left. They're all landing on that big tree right now. And I believe they're migrating south. But we must have just seen at least a hundred birds come through here. And they're all over the place. They're flying through the woods. You can see them flying down in the background. Right there's 501. If we wanted to bushwhack, we could get back up on the road, but I don't want to. Uh, we are at 1.3 from 645. We still have three quarters of a mile to go. And we'll be walking along 501 for a while. Triple path. We made it to the fire break. We decided to stop in the shade. But, uh, oops, sorry about that. We have a triple path on the tree. Right there is our right mark. And there's a path going in there. And there's a good strong path going in there that uh, probably will take you all up to 501. But we filmed this on the way up. There's the marks on the rocks. We thought this was one of the lookouts, but it's not. It's a fire break. This you can see on Google Earth, but you can't see it on the Appalachian Trail map. They don't show it. All right. We just climbed a hell of a little tiny hill at the end here. And you can feel it in the legs. We're over four miles now. And there's our readings. Now, I shut this thing off when we took our break and started it back up again to make sure everything was still on the mark. Dusty's wearing the pedometer that we reset at zeros. And see how close they are, because I'll be wearing that pedometer pretty much so. You have, what, zero, nine? Point zero, no, point seven, one. Three quarters of a mile? That's wrong. That's really wrong. So I'm going to have to reset that. Okay. See the truck in a couple of minutes. Okay. We're back at the truck. Best is going up to use the facilities. Tired. It showed 2.2 uh, going down and 2.13 coming back. But what we did going down was stop at all the lookouts. Uh, let's see, 13, 14, 15 total day hikers. Uh, we managed to talk to all of them. Hurt one guy's feelings, but that's the brakes. So let me turn this around and close out a good day of hiking. September 5th, 2015. Polish pickle and Dusty made it. As soon as the cars pass, stay strong, patient, and trust your journey. We got back. Thank you.